The majority of the breast lumps that ladies come with to the clinics are actually benign and not cancerous. Um, anything between 70 to 90% of breast complaints and presentations are actually due to hormonal changes or sometimes benign lumps that actually needs uh, investigations, but not really worrying for us. Now, this is of course an invitation to all ladies to keep examining themselves. And if any change or differences um, they are not happy with, they need to come forward and be seen by the GPs or the breast specialists. So the number of lumps um, that can be benign, um, probably top, it depends on the age, of course. Um, so in the young uh, patients, we'd expect the fibroadenoma to be very common. Fibroadenoma from the name fibro means fibers and adenoma means a bit of gland. It's a very benign lumps um, that they present in young age and sometimes even a later age. Um, later bit in life, maybe 30s or 40s, the breasts are very, very common. Um, and the common presentation is a sudden onset of a uh, breast lump that is tender, not always, but most of the time that is tender. And then you have also like the um, lumpiness or the thickening in the breast tissue, which can appear in any age in life. And probably this is the most common lumps that we've, we see, which are not really lumps, but more like a thickening in the breast tissue. The breast tissue is designed to get affected by hormone and as part of this effect can sometimes be thickened or thinned. Um, and most of the ladies come into the clinics complain of, you know, lumpiness, um, plus or minus uh, pain. They actually have normal breast tissue that being affected with the hormone changes. They need to be seen. They need to go through what we call a triple assessment. And that is the clinical examination um, followed by the imaging. Depends on the age and what the appropriateness. And then finally, if need be, they need a biopsy. Not all the ladies will need biopsies, but they, this is what the triple assessment is. Assessment is. Definitely not. Um, benign breast lumps um, not always should be removed. In fact, very, very few breast, benign breast lumps need to be removed. So let's say about the fibroadenoma. If fibroadenoma is small and not causing any problems, it should be left alone. Having a surgery for a benign lump that is not cancerous and doesn't turn into cancer is not actually justified. Unless if the lump is causing symptoms, or has grown to large size in the, you know, within six months, let's say. Um, another example, the cysts. The cysts should not be removed as such. The cysts are aspirated. And that means when the ultrasound scan is done and the, the, the lump is turned to be a cyst, which is basically means a simple balloon filled with water, um, then a needle can be inserted into the cyst and aspirate all the fluid or suck all the fluid out. This is not painful procedure. And there's very simple procedure that can be done in the clinic. Other thickening in the breast tissue definitely should not be touched. It should be assessed with the triple assessment and this only breast, normal breast tissue that is slightly thickened should be left alone. So breast cancer can be actually diagnosed as early as possible. Um, and that is by the lady keep examining herself uh, once a month. And if any change or differences that she noticed, she can take it to the specialist. And if breast, diag if breast cancer diagnosed, then that is early enough to actually avoid very complicated a treatment. Obviously having a healthy life, um, avoid smoking, limit the drink, uh, alcohol drinks, all of this can actually add to the um, improvement of the fitness of the ladies. But sometimes breast cancer cannot be avoided as such, but it can be diagnosed as early as possible to avoid complications.